In 2016, Donald Trump said, quote, I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, close quote. He must still believe that because after promising his supporters that he will protect the Second Amendment, he is in the process of enacting most of the Democrats' anti-Second Amendment agenda. That agenda being, number one, a ban on semi-automatic rifles, number two, raising the legal age to buy a gun to 21. So a 19 or 20 year old can have a gun and go to war, but he cannot have a gun to defend himself at home. Number three, banning high capacity magazines, that would be magazines holding more than 10 rounds. Number four, mandating universal background checks, which would make all private sales illegal, including a father passing a gun to his son. And number five, implementing national red flag gun confiscation laws, which is totalitarian to its core, making a person guilty until proven innocent and beginning the process of despotic gun confiscation nationwide. And right here, I pause to encourage all of you to watch my open letter video on my YouTube channel. The open letter video on my YouTube channel. I implore you to watch that. And if you think that red flag gun confiscation laws do not affect you, think again. The FBI has just recently stated that if you believe in conspiracy theories, you are a, quote, domestic terrorist threat. That statement is from an FBI intelligence bulletin from the Bureau's Phoenix field office dated May 30, 2019. That FBI designation alone could very easily precipitate a red flag gun confiscation order being rendered against you or any of us. And Donald Trump is now the loudest voice demanding that red flag gun confiscation laws be enacted. And to show you just how Orwellian and draconian this is, on August 13, Trump tweeted this. This is a quote from Donald Trump's tweet, August 13. Would Chris Cuomo be given a red flag for his recent rant, filthy language, and a total loss of control, he shouldn't be allowed to have any weapon, he's nuts. Are you listening? The President of the United States is threatening to use a red flag gun confiscation law against an American citizen and deny that citizen his natural right of self-defense because he doesn't like what the citizen is saying. Trump is suggesting government police agencies confiscate guns from people whose speech opposes those in power, him. Don't you understand? People in power can use a red flag gun confiscation order against anyone they want to, anyone they don't like. I am telling you folks, once we start down this road, there is no turning back. This is shades of Stalin's Russia and Mao's China. Yes, of those five Democrat gun control agendas, Trump is supporting and pushing four of them. The only one he's not pushing yet is the ban on semi-automatics. George Bush the first lost his bid for re-election because he broke his promise when he said, quote, read my lips, no new taxes, and then turned around and signed massive tax increases upon the American people. 
Donald Trump's read my lips promise was his promise to protect the Second Amendment. This battle is going to be won or lost in the U.S. Senate. Trump says he has enough influence over the GOP-controlled Senate to pass these gun control measures. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is saying the same thing. So are Republican gun grabbers Lindsey Graham and Marco Rubio. If conservatives do not arise in mass now and send Donald Trump the loudest and clearest message that if he enacts these gun control proposals, he will not receive their vote next year. America will be saddled with more communistic gun control laws than any president has enacted since Lyndon Bain Johnson in the 1960s. This is deadly serious. I urge everyone listening to me right now to contact your two U.S. senators and tell them in the strongest terms that they cannot support these gun control measures without losing your vote forever. And tell Mr. Trump the same thing and get every friend you can to do the same thing. The NRA is compromised and is in complete disarray and will be of little help in this fight. It's up to us. It's up to the people who elected Donald Trump to stop this madness. If we allow Donald Trump to enact these egregious gun control and gun confiscation measures on America, we may as well have elected Hillary Clinton. If Donald Trump cannot keep his promise to protect the Second Amendment, the people of America who voted for him cannot continue to support him. There can be no more excuses. Montana Governor and Democrat presidential candidate Steve Bullock is saying that Democrats can win the White House next year on gun control. He's wrong, of course. But what is true is that Donald Trump can lose the White House next year if he passes more gun control. And if he does, he deserves to lose. But this is not about winning or losing an election. This is about preserving our right to keep and bear arms. And that right is more important than Donald Trump or Joe Biden or any politician or any election. Without the right to keep and bear arms, we do not even need elections. Call the White House. The number is 202-456-1111. Call your U.S. Senators. The switchboard number is 202-224-3121. Do it now and do it loud.